during these cold nights, it's hard to imagine sleeping outside, but you know, thousands in Nashville do just that. News Channel 5's Jesse Knutson joins us live at the Nashville Farmers Market. And Jesse, the city is keeping the farmers market open all night, so they have a warm place to stay. That's correct, Roy, and already a lot of people have come out here to take advantage of this warm spot to be. They have about 50 cots laid out right now, and this all comes after the mayor raised the cold weather community response plan to a level four to make sure that all those who need a place tonight have one. And while the city is doing what it can to help those in need, people we spoke to at a homeless encampment say it simply isn't enough. At this Nashville area homeless encampment, they do what they can to stay warm. This is our warming shelter. A fire inside a makeshift tent keeps these people warm, if at least for a moment. This ain't no camp, this ain't no tent, this is home. But sometimes this home is not enough. Oh, sorry guys. While this tent has kept the snow off, the cold has still crept in. We clothed them, gave them blankets. The day before yesterday, the man inside this tent was taken to Vanderbilt, and doctors say it is likely too late for him. His organs are shutting down due to the cold. I'm sorry. Now I go watch another friend die. Grodo wishes he could save his friend, but he knows living out here, there's only so much that can be done. We need places that open their doors to help people the way they say they want to, the way they say they care. One group that cares is Open Table Nashville. They've worked with this homeless encampment for years with hopes a day like today will never come. We know that he will die alone if we're not there and I don't want someone to die alone. While visiting the man at the hospital, Ingrid McIntyre couldn't help but think that this could have been prevented if there were more resources for the homeless beyond temporary shelters. And even if they had a thousand beds, it wouldn't be enough because there's people who can't go in, right? Couples, people with pets, people with mental health issues. Ingrid says there is no specific equation that can make helping these people perfect but it's clear that more needs to be done to help the most vulnerable people in Nashville. We have pains, you know what I mean? We didn't grow up in good lives. And the ones that did grow up in good lives had something really bad happen to them in their lives. And they suffer from that. Now there are currently about 50 people out here taking advantage of this warm place and they will actually get fed coming up in the next couple of hours. Now, as for the area, there are still plenty of bed space available. They say if there are more people that need the warm spot, they will accommodate them as they come in here. So if you see anybody out in the cold in the metro Nashville area, you can head them towards the Nashville Farmer's Market. Live in Nashville, Jesse Knudsen, News Channel 5.